Hello, New Hope. Now, I must give some credits before we get started today. First of all, our producer and director, Brian Smith, we'd like to thank him. Uh, lighting engineer, uh, Brian Smith. Uh, sound engineer, uh, Brian Smith. Special effects, Brian Smith. Editing, Brian Smith. Choreography, Brian Smith. Wardrobe, that would be me. But I do want to thank Brian for his help today. Just a few days ago, I was walking through a department store and on my way out, I walked through the men's shoe department. Uh-oh. And the salesman was telling a lady that there was a table of shoes for half price. Uh-oh, again. Now that's, that's a deal, half price. I walked over to the table and lo and behold, you know how it is. The heavens open and a shaft of light shone down upon a pair of shoes. And the voices of an angelic choir filled the air and I heard a voice that said, Donald, that's just what you've been looking for. And as I made the purchase, wearing my mask, rubbing my hands with sanitizer, I looked at the salesman wearing his mask. He was an older gentleman, I mean really old, about my age, and uh, I felt compassion for him, wearing a mask all day. And I said, we are living in strange times, aren't we, friend? And that question must have triggered something because he looked at me for the longest time without saying a word. And I think I saw his eyes mist over. And finally he nodded and he said, we sure are. And as I left, we shared words of encouragement with each other. And I got the feeling that there was more to this transaction than simply buying a pair of shoes. We are living in strange times and people are suffering. Mental health expert, experts say we are overeating and overdrinking. Domestic abuse is up. Depression is on the increase. People are living on the edge. Tensions are high. Words are powder kegs. One wrong look can trigger a violent reaction. It's a day that calls for a special consideration and compassion and grace and kindness. Now that can be a tough order to fill when you're feeling the pressure yourself. In fact, without the Holy Spirit, it, it's impossible. So let me bring a couple of passages of scripture into focus. Galatians chapter five, verse 22, verse 23. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 13 reminds us that love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Strange times just beg for a love like that. Let's pray. Father, I ask you to fill our hearts with your love. Let your spirit replace pride and rudeness and self-seeking and anger with love. May the Holy Spirit shed abroad the love of God in our hearts. Help us, help us today to show the love of Jesus to a hurting world. In his name we pray, amen.